is um, go to firewall and here this is the access rule as to what can connect to this device what ports you want to forward um, you know what devices can can come in from the outside and see this and vice versa and go out so here is where you can set those up and then you have the net rules this is where you want to do your netting you know um, converting the outside IP to internal and so on and so forth um, so if you have certain web applications exchange um, you know whatever certain applications that you have and you need folks from the outside to access it then you're going to set up the the static nets here all right so what you want to do is under firewall click on objects and here you need we need to first set some uh, certain objects so in our case we're going to have a web server connected behind our firewall and we want people to hit it um, just an example so um, so what we can do is call this uh, web, ser web server internal web server internal IP is 192.168.1.50 one dot fifteen then you set that here make sure you choose the uh, device dot two fifty five click it here we know this is the web server we're gonna add another static route we're gonna call this web server external now the external IP that the world is going to hit to see your website we'll call we'll set that to 12.10.20.10 for example and we'll set that to dot .55 and OK here remember this is the internal IP that's the external IP say you know we'll, we'll set up some other networks also for uh, future VLANs I'm sorry for future um, VPN tunnels. So we'll call this our DR colo. So our DR colocation. And we'll call this 10.221.14.0. That's our internal IP address of the uh, of our location. The reason I don't need to input an external is because this is going to be used for uh, VPN tunnel. So, um, so all we need is the internal IP address. So I'll set that up. We'll hit OK. And if we had another VPN tunnel, we'll set that up also. Turn that two twenty two. And fifteen and zero. Oops. Um, Dr two. Cool. Yeah, very ingenious name. Um, and because this is a the ending is a zero, so we know that's a full sub that's a full segment of the network. So we'll use dot zero here. Click OK. And let's just say for the namesake, we'll do um, our one more other. We'll call this um, SNMP um, trap machine. For example, if you have an SNMP machine that's used used for traps or whatever. I didn't like that let me show you that again because it's not it doesn't it doesn't match only because it needs to it's not the network 
see if you want that 255 it even tells you you know to to specify a host to use this which is pretty cool so you need to that you use this okay we we'll, and this we'll use another one I send um, p trap external Okay, so now that we've created our internal, our external um, entries, these objects that we've created, and our, our two internal objects for our disaster recovery location, which are to be used for VPN tunnels, and these are to be used for um, netting purposes and access rule. So, and then your list will go on and on and on. You know, you'll have a big list of however different many objects you want to set up. So well, once we're done creating our objects here, then we need to come up here to net rules. And here you have to specify a net rule. So you can click on add, add static net rule. So the interface is the insight and the source. Well we'll go with web server first so we have our web server which is the web server interface here and see the cool the beauty of an uh, object is in the, it has all this these uh, properties right it has the IP address and a subnet mask already associate associated to this name so all you do is just type in the name here and that's why I like creating objects first so you choose your internal here I'm going to specify outside and we want the outside to be this IP and then it'll does the translation for us so static net from the in from the inside it's going to be um, netted to the outside and you can see a little nice little map here also so from the internal it's going to be converted to outside and vice versa and so you just create a net we're going to click on another net rule our internal we're going to choose outside our external SNMP bam we just create another one so this is this is where you would create your net rules and because we're working on the insight interface that's the only interface we have available on this 5505 that's why you only see the insight interface here uh, if you had the bigger the bigger version the 5510 and you'll have the other interfaces all listed down here you know the inside because we called it the inside this label that's inside and then you'll have the you know the other managed board port one management port two management port three so on and so forth whatever you have called those you will see these listed here and you can create the necessary net rules for those locations for those ports because this is the 5505 series it only has the one um, because it's a smaller one only the inside network that's all we use so we created our net rules and this is <clears throat> this is how you create it very important you want to make sure your dynamic net is set or else none of these net um, then the outside and the internal networks won't work then you're not going to be able to go out or people come in because they won't know they won't know who is who so you want to make sure by def this is created for you by default so just make sure that's there if it's not there you want to go ahead and do the factory default like I showed you in the beginning um, and then connect to it and then this should come up 99.9% of the time this will come up if for example it's not there you can always recreate it you, you know doing it manually but you don't have to okay once we do that once our nets are set up then what we do is we're going to come to our access rule and here um, here we need to create a different access rules as to what needs to come from the outside what needs to go um, what, what can come in what can go out and we're going to be creating those rules not on the inside interface on the outside interface because that's where from the outside it's going to be coming in 
So we're going to click on Add Access Rule on the outside. Permit. So source anything. So anything from the outside that's coming in. We need to choose outside interface and the IP address that's coming through uh, on that interface which basically what you want to do here is you don't want people out on the internet to just randomly use any ports to come in and do something it's gonna as you can see by default it's gonna block anything it's gonna block all this it's gonna block anything that comes in from the outside you have to let this to this firewall know that hey if I'm going to be using the web server I want just that traffic coming through you know if you're going to be using exchange or VPN or PPTP or or whatever uh, that you're, you have on the inside that you want people on the outside to have access you have to explicitly specify it here um, and so we want anything from the outside to come in um, and what IP are we going to use so we're going to say here TCP because we have that web uh, website um, we'll say 8080 so only 8080 only web tra web traffic from the, on the outside on 8080 can come in because you have that web remember you have this website on the inside you want people to come and that's typically port 80 or 8080 or however you've set this up um, you'll specify it here you know 80 or, or 8080 or whatever it may be you want to specify that so people can come in so that's that right here we're gonna edit this and we're gonna come down here now we also have a SNMP which is gonna be doing traps pulling traps and whatnot so we need to allow only that traffic to come in also so we're going to say UDP um, and that's what SNMP uses UDP slash SNMP which is port 161 um, and 161 and 162 so you can see it even tells you in the little parentheses what ports they are um, and that's the beauty of this we're going to use um, SNMP and these are the only two traffics we traffics we want explicitly to come in it's going to deny everything else because this is a firewall and you want to make sure your network internal network is uh, protected it's not going to allow anything else only what you want only what you want allowed will be coming in and going out not going out but coming in so we want anything from the outside to come in on the outside interface but it can only be web traffic or SNMP so we'll talk about security bam it's right there so now that we've set up our our access rules and we've set up our net rules and we set up our devices here um, you know our gateway uh, inner site uh, the internal and the external interface you're pretty much done at this point um, so what you need to do now is you're gonna click on save and now you're you're done so so in the next video i'll show you how to do the vpn tunnel and for that it's pretty simple we've already created the net rules and we'll go ahead and do the tunneling now in the next video so let's go ahead to, and do that